Apex Chungus. So I mean, I mean Apex. Yas, pain in the Apex Chungui. We're gonna be going over him today in the boss rush. Hell yeah! What up, what up? I am. And today we're gonna be going over Apex. This little shit. We're gonna be going over a guide for him. All the details, tips, and tricks that I know. Just like the other bosses, he has basic attacks, burst attacks, and mechanics. The basic attacks are relatively straightforward and can be forward guarded and super armor traded. I will be showing you an example of all of the burst attacks though, so that way you know how to counter them and be very wary. This is going to involve my own custom naming scheme, so... Yes. <laughs> and also a lot of striker skills since he highly moves like them. Very similar animations. The first actually happens at the very beginning of the fight. He will do a self explosion at the beginning when he is immune. You can PvE iframe it, no worries once you get the timing down. Next we have Rage Hammer. He's going to slam his fist into the ground, do a little bit of damage up close, and then a lot of AoEs on the outside. You can use your forward guard or super armor to trade with this, no worries. His next burst skill is a three part combination. It starts with Knee Hammer, but he puts his foot down actually. He's going to do a few AoEs and his safe spot will be behind him at all times. Does quite a bit of damage, try to avoid it if you can. Also do a little sneaky sneak with some DPS, you know? If you speedy, that is. And do keep in mind this isn't a burst ability, but he will jump around here and there and randomly teleport. Uh, usually it's basic skills, not too many bursts to worry about. The next skill is actually kind of like a little bit of an anime throwback, but it's also the Hadouken for Striker. He's going to crouch and build up a lot of energy in his hands. Don't panic, you have a couple seconds before he's going to release it and it is very telling. Make sure to move around a little bit as he's doing it when you're DPSing. Then you will know as he turns towards you, he's going to release it. So dodge. It hurts a lot. If you survive, well, if you survive, you'll not have much health. When you get him to around 45%, the raging hammer actually changes and inverses. You'll get a bunch of AoEs on the outside and then a bigger one in the middle. You have a split second for DPS if you'd like, but then dodge. And now for his last burst skill, Twisted Collision. Also an uppercut. He will do a jumping 360 while throwing his fist to the air, you know, like... Well, an uppercut. <laughs> Make sure to use your PvE iframes, but then you'll have a split second, about a second, second and a half to do some DPS, and then you'll have to iframe again. You'll learn the timing as you get used to it. No worries at all. Just get good. Smile. I highly recommend using your PvE iframes when you can. For most of these burst abilities, though, they can be used with frontals as well. To be honest, though, the larger AoEs, I wouldn't attempt. With all the burst skills out of the way, let's get into all the mechanics and phases. The first phase is actually quite straightforward. Just do a lot of damage and avoid a lot of the skills, including the initial burst one at the beginning. Trade with basic skills to do extra damage and beware of the bursts. Around 70% you'll notice you'll start to spawn a bunch of bomber mobs. These guys are going to randomly follow you around and well try to bomb you. They do a crap ton of damage. Make sure to use as many frontals as possible. You will also notice a number of these alien like flowers have spawned in the outer rims of the arena. You have to destroy these as quickly as possible. Hopefully you're really good at kiting because I think that is the best way to defeat this part. I suggest continuously going around in a circle, kiting the mobs in order to do damage to the plants as you go. Watch out for the boss as he's still doing AoEs and damage, so keep a close eye on him as you're DPSing the flowers. Slash plants, whatever, whatever that. You can use frontals to protect against the bombers, but they will dilute it really quick. Keep doing damage to get them around 65%, and next mechanic will be a huge DPS check. I'll throw you into Sangu's hungry maw, he says. He will put himself in a bubble in the center of the arena. Do all the damage you can to knock him out of it. Immediately after, he's actually going to go into another animation where he goes into the air. You can actually skip a lot of time here if you believe in your damage. DPS him as much as you can, as fast as you can, and you might be able to knock him out of the air. If you don't have enough DPS though, do be careful because he will do an arena wide wipe during this process that you have to PVE iframe. You'll have roughly four to five seconds until he does so. But if you can get that skip, you'll knock him down and you'll have an extra DPS phase to have him do more animations and get a lot more in and save time. I won't even be able to do it twice to be honest. Now you'll jump even higher and say, now it's your turn to be on Sangoon's dinner table. But all he's really doing is absorbing some bomber dudes and he's not really going to do much of anything else. It's just part of, well, lore, I guess? RP? I don't know. Welcome to the next phase. This is where you're going to start seeing that second version of Rage Hammer and also the stored up energy for the Hadouken. Keep doing all the damage and then he will phase again at 30%. Easy, solid job. The first thing you'll notice is now one quarter of the boss arena is going to be filled. Don't step in it. It does hella damage. Apex will try to suck you into it initially. Try to use your mobility and PVI frames to not get sucked in. This will keep happening over the course of the whole fight, and if it ever fills, you wipe. He will start to summon some of his bomber friends back here and there, so do be mindful. Use the forward guards when you can. When you get him around 15%, he's going to become invulnerable and summon four of his elites. You have to at least kill three of the four in a very short amount of time. Focus. If you don't, you wipe. Try to aggro and group them up as much as possible to be efficient and do it under the time limit. 
By this point, you will notice another quadrant has probably been filled. Sometimes he likes to just stand in him, so be careful and be close so we can try to aggro him back into the safe area. You will get some little guys that'll spawn again from time to time, so make sure to do as much damage as possible. This is all you got left. Kill him. You're on the final part. Congrats on beating Apex Chungui. And that is it for this quick guide with tips and tricks. Don't forget to like if the video helped you out, comment if you have any questions or concerns, and subscribe to the channel for future BDO content. I hella appreciate you guys for watching. Thank you so much. I will see you all in the next video. Crimson out.